And when I wake up, so Disco Elysium. Don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a pretty good game. I got into it honestly. I got into it because I knew it had RNG. My friend was like, "Hey, this game is pretty neat." I was like, "What's it about?" He's like, "You're probably not gonna like it." I was like, "Why not?" And he's like, "There's a lot of like luck." And I was like, "Dude, I made Game of Watch. I jumped into it like entirely blind, still blind, because I can't beat the first day." And this is one of the worst games I've played. Let me fix that. This is one of the games I am struggling to beat in a hot minute, all right? It's not like an insanely technically difficult game. You know, you're not like inputting 20 things a second. It's not Sekiro for, s well, it is Sekiro, but if the difficulty was in socialization, it's like, you know, if you wanted to know what it feels like to make every single social interaction do or die, feel like this game is pretty good at that. I don't play a lot of RPGs, you know? Well, I don't play a lot of RPGs in the sense of like, your choices, you know, dialogue centric and your choices shape your outcome, you know? Like, and when I do play those games, right? Like, let's say, I don't know, Undertale. Glowing example. There's usually like two options I take. I kill everyone, or I want to leave everyone better than I found them, right? And in Disco Elysium, I'm not exactly, this is not, do I have a green? Yeah. This is not exactly the face of a guy that can do that. He is not that guy, you know? I'm not gonna go around on a homicide run. Maybe he's capable of it. I haven't seen it. But since that wasn't an option, you know, I went into this game and I was like, all right, you know, he seems like he's going through it. So I, I would like to leave all of these wonderful little characters a little better than I found them. And he is, he is terrible at that too. He's, how does he, I don't know how he's made it this far, okay? I don't know how to like demonstrate this guy, he's got problems, <laughs> he's not doing all right. And as a player that wants to leave all these wonderful little characters a little better than I found them, because I admit it, I'm a little invested. I give a shit about Jacket over here. Forgetting his name, Kim. What the fuck? Again, I've played this game <laughs> for less than a day. I can't beat day one. You know what, and let's talk about that. Why can't I beat day one? Let me just paint you a picture of how, how, how much of a piece of shit this fella is. I, you start the game in his apartment, it is, it is completely trashed, you are recovering from a hangover, and you have been in a city, you're supposed to solve a murder, and the corpse of the murderee is still hanging in the backyard, because you've been here for three days, and done nothing but drugs and get drunk, and kind of like ruin the lives of everyone that has like come into contact with you. That's the rundown. He's making everyone miserable, including himself. So like from day one, you know, the moment you pick up the controller, you are doing damage control for the most blundering... Every so In every social interaction, he is one sentence away from either appearing like an idiot or making someone hate him. And that is like, you know, relatable. Come on, right? I was like figuring out the controls at the start of the game and I tried to punch a child. <laughs> That's... How many games do you play where a misinput leads to like assault? What is this? This fucking guy, dude. Fuck. But it's great. Oh my god, I keep being like, let's talk about why I can't beat the first day. You know why I can't beat the first day and why this video is likely named as it is and why this is such a difficult game for me to play? I, the hotel, the aforementioned hotel that I trashed. Uh, the guy that owns the hotel is not a super big fan of me, you know, I, I made one of his employees quit, I ravaged the apartment, not in the good books, you know? St fair, okay, I get it. So he wants me to pay off my debt for all the damages before he'll let me stay there again. And it's like, there's not a lot of hotels in town, I'm like the only hotel in town. Only problem is I can't afford it, you know? And I didn't manage to scrumble enough money together by the end of the day to pay it off, you know? And I thought, oh, maybe we can work something out. He does not want to work something out. He wants his money. And so reluctantly, my partner in crime, this 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 goober who's unfortunately having to put up with me, he's like, dude, so, you know, I got these cool rims in my car. I wanted to put them on my car, but, you know, I guess we can just sell them so we can pay for the, pay for the night. I don't want to do that. This is not his mess to deal with. This is my mess. But I have no money. So I don't want to sell his wheels. And we have just been outside in the cold rain. 
waiting for the night to pass. We're not getting any sleep tonight. We are sleeping outside on the street because I am a piece of shit. This game's good. It's well written. It's pretty interesting. But it, I feel like they engineered it to cause me as much agony as possible. It took me like the first half of the day to even get him to look in the mirror at himself, you know? It was just a, you know, my guy had his like profile picture in the bottom and it was just like a blurry smudge for me because I didn't even know what I looked like. I got nothing else to say. This game's hard. <laughs> this game... Ugh. Sekiro, it's like, you know, you know what the enemy is. You're this big fucker on a horse, kill him. Easy. Objective is clear. Sword. Cut. Done. Move on. This guy. Oh, man. It's crazy. It's like trying to defuse a bomb, except you're in the middle of like downtown New York and it's actually an atomic one, you know? So it's it's a it's a good time. It's great. You need some counseling. I don't know if there's a way to get him that. <laughs> I'm gonna work on it. I'll get back to you guys.